I've asked probably one of the greatest lions of all, five lions tours behind him, a 17 test for the lions, Willie John McBride, just to say one or two words and just to present you with your test jersey. So Willie. Thanks, uh, Donald. Uh, I don't want to sort of stand, I'd, I'd sit with you. Uh, man, I believe that it's a great privilege for me to be asked to come here along, along here today and just be part of this. I'm sure you're excited. Biggest day in your rugby lives, for most of you. Biggest day in your rugby lives. I was never a professional rugby player. Many changes over the last number of years. But at this stage, some things never change. Like the pain in the gut, the agony, the worry that should be there. Today, you're here representing four countries. Today is about putting another layer of Lions history on the table. There are times in this game today where you've got to reach into the very depths of your inner being to pick it up and go again. That's what it's about. And finally, it's about winning. That's the only thing that's acceptable at this stage. Worth it. It's worth all that pain, all that agony. You'll never forget it for the rest of your life. Good luck. And you make your own luck in this game. Good effort. Good effort as far as Dee's concerned. A lot of pressure coming on us especially on our own line. And they kept pounding away and pounding away. And it was a gallant effort, boys. Right? That's what I would say to you if I was your club coach or if I was your international coach. But I'm not. We're your Lions coaches. And a gallant effort, good defence, or good spirit, ain't good enough at this level. On D, we cannot afford our emotional energy to dip whatsoever. You know why? Because there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. We are taking them boys to the Hurt Arena this weekend. Because our mentality is going to be a different mentality than what the British Lions teams have had over the last 16 years. Right? A different mentality. Because over the last 16 years, it's been about failure. You shock yourself by taking yourself to another level. Because that's what being a f***ing lion's about. It ain't about anything other than that. It ain't about taking part. It ain't about being here. It's about winning. They won't have that. They won't have that. Make it your point of difference. For some others, this could be the last time you ever wear this jersey. Last time you get an opportunity to remember it. Last time I wore the Lions jersey. Beat South Africa, Johannesburg, and Alice Park. Earn some respect? Yes. The only way you earn respect against this is by beating them. It's the only way. No matter all the nice things they say, you've got to beat them. How we do it on the scoreboard out there? Yes, we'll improve from week one, test one to test two. The sign of character and what we do is perform out there today. Nothing but a win is acceptable. For these guys, last time they wear this jersey, remember it. Lions Tour for me is special. For a lot of you today, it's your first test. For the Lions. I will never forget my first test for the Lions. 
It's a long time ago and I still remember it. You've got here. You've all worked hard. And you've got here. Now it's about finishing the job. There are times today when you're going to have to reach into the very depths of your soul to get to that ball, to help the guy. Don't get isolated. Don't let the guy get isolated. Stay with him at all times. Support, support, support. When you come off this field today, and you can look at your teammate in the eye and say, I couldn't have given any more. Nobody can ask anything else. Go out and do it. Go and do it now. Go and live it. Because you'll never forget it when you beat these guys. And we're all behind you. One simple thing for me. We're here in no separation in deep, no separation in attack. Keep moving. Don't be lazy. Put it into one thing. Don't give up. And that's not on 60 or 65, it's from the first minute to the 80 plus. You don't give up on a kick chase, a jackal. One minute. Fill it in. You don't give up on anything for 80 minutes. The biggest mark of respect you can have is get pulled off, blown out your ass, got nothing left to give. Do not give up on anything. Let's have a squeeze on three around. One, two, three. Yes! Um, just from my point of view, I think it's important we um, start to realise what it means for us to be in this room, you know? We all work incredibly hard as rugby players. We all play so many games for our clubs and our province. We've all done that. And if we're really lucky, we get to put on our national jersey, which many of us, all of us in this room have done. But if we're truly special, right, and this is special, we get to be in this room now. OK, well, when I got my uh, letter through the post a couple of months ago, as I said to you on Saturday night, I came with a questionnaire. And the first question on that questionnaire was, what does it mean to be picked for the British and Irish Lions? What does it mean to you? Now, for me, I put down, it's the greatest honour I could ever receive as a rugby player. It is the pinnacle of my career. Now I know to a man, if I go around the room and ask you the same question, I know, I know what the answer will be. Maybe it may not be the same words, but it'd be pretty damn similar. Now for me, this game of rugby is more than just a game, it's our life. You live it, you breathe it, you make huge sacrifices to be in this room. Your family make huge sacrifices, your parents, your coaches, you know, your, your, your girlfriends, your wives, they will make sacrifices to allow you to be in this room. And you've got to bring that out tonight. It's not just about you, it's about all the people that made you the person you are. That's what goes into that shirt. There's people watching all over the world that have helped you and put you in this room. Whatever it takes, you've got to find a little bit extra for them, whether they're alive or whether they're dead. All right, they're there watching, and you've got to make it happen. Now, for me, this tour is now about stepping up to the next level. All right, we've had those two games. All right, we know what they've been about. It's now time to turn up the heat on these boys. Right, and in order to do that, we're going to have to take ourselves out of the comfort zone with me and put ourselves in a totally different environment. A place we've been before, not many times, but a place you've all been before in your life, at international level. You've got to take yourself out of the comfort zone and it's going to hurt tonight. But you've got to be prepared to suffer. All right, you've got to get yourself out of that comfort zone and be prepared to suffer. Now, I was in a hotel room similar to this four years ago. Graham Henry got up and spoke, and the words he said will live with me for the rest of my life. He said to me, in this part of the world, he said, they do not respect you. He said, they do not think you're good enough. They do not think you're skillful enough. They do not think you're fit enough. And they do not think you're strong enough. And I should know because I'm one of them. Not my words, his words. And you know what? He's right. They don't respect us. All right, but when they come off that pitch tonight, they're going to know how good we are. They're going to know how strong we are. They're going to know how skillful we are. And they are going to respect us. And when they wake up tomorrow morning and they're eating their breakfast, they're going to know that we're here to win a test series. And when you take this shirt tonight, all right, I want you to look at the number on the back. I want you to think about all the great players that have worn that shirt. And there's a lot of great players that have worn that shirt. Your number, the number you're wearing tonight. When you come off that pitch having given absolutely everything and having won the game, you can add your name to that list of great players. And you've got a fantastic captain here. I'd love to be running out with him tonight. You get behind him, you do it. 
Right, let's get some emotion into this game. Let's take it to another level. I started off by saying to you all, right, how far can we take this? Well, it's here. This is it. You dream about it, boys. I'm actually trying to ask myself, Faz, what is it that you're after? Honestly, it's something that is unbeatable. We're a fire team, and if we're going for the steel, we've got to be accurate. Performance. Everything put together, we haven't done it yet. It'll be too much for them. They can't handle it. They've got winners in this room. I believe tomorrow they become the best team in the world. There are two kinds of rugby players, boys. There's honest ones and there's the rest. The honest player gets up in the morning and looks himself in the mirror and sets his standard, sets his stall out and says, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better, I'm going to get better. He doesn't complain about the food or the beds or the referees or all these sort of things. These are just peripheral things that weak players are always complaining about. The dishonest player. So from now on, the page is turned. We're on a new book. Different attitudes. We're honest with ourselves. We can match them. But only if we get it right here and right here. We're focused. From now on, the gloves are, kick gloves are off. It's bare knuckle stuff. And only at the end of the day will the man who stands on his feet win the f***ing battle. They've said we've, there's nothing to play for. It's a dead series. Mind you what Gat said on Wednesday. I think we've everything to play for. Because today will determine what we are. It will say everything about us. And that, the biggest thing about what you earn in this jersey is a respect and a reputation and to any person that's the biggest thing you can ever have for what you do and what you stand for we can leave a legacy in this last game in this jersey for the players to pick up in four years time and for four years we can leave something that makes sure when people think about the Lions they think good they'll think about you they'll think about this performance and they can live with it for four years and some of you might be there to pick up the next jersey in four years time some of us won't be please please Give them something to play for, something to understand. Good luck. But play for everything that we want that jersey to be and everything you've made it so far. All the best, boys. Selection for the test team is the easy bit. You have an awesome responsibility on the eight 
individual forwards shoulders awesome responsibility this is your Everest boys very few ever get a chance in rugby terms to get for Everest the top of Everest you have the chance to do being picked is the easy bit to win for a line for the Lions in a test match is the ultimate but you'll not do it unless you put your bodies in the line Every one jack of you for 80 minutes. Defeat doesn't worry me. I've had it often and so have you. It's performance at matters. If you put in the performance, you'll get what you deserve. No luck attached to it. If you don't put it in, if you're not honest, then we're second raters. They don't rate us. They don't respect us. They don't respect you. They don't rate you. The only way to be rated is to stick one on them. To get it right up in their faces and turn them back, knock them back. Outdo what they can do. Out jump them, out scrum them, out ruck them, out drive them, out tackle them until they're fucking sick of it. So it's an awesome task you have. It'll only be done, as I say, if everybody commits themselves now. You are privileged. You are the chosen few. Many are considered, but few are chosen. Nobody's going to do it for you. You have to find your own solace, your own drive, your own ambition, your own inner strength, because the moment's arriving for the greatest game of your life. A memorable, memorable.